Yeah, what's going on? Nip, it's here. Time for your weekly rock wind-up. Well, happy 50th to the debut album from The Doors. Uh, it was uh, this week, 50 years ago, that their self-titled debut album came out, thus changing, really, the landscape of rock and roll, heavy metal, punk, if you will, in America. Uh, personally, my, my feelings are that the, uh, the Doors are the greatest American rock band of all time. It's up for debate. It's up for debate. It's up for debate. Well, a very bum deal for Of Mice and Men frontman uh, Austin Carlyle. He has to part ways with his band. Uh, he has this ongoing battle with Marfan Syndrome, which is a rare uh, fib fibroastic cystic connective tissue disorder, excuse me, that painfully causes his body to seize up, according to the press release. So uh, he has been battling this uh, on and off for quite some time, and hopefully he uh, bounces back as best he can. All right, and some tours and some, oh my God, are they back together? Uh, New Year's Eve saw Live's original frontman, Ed Kowalczyk, getting on stage with those guys, and they're actually confirmed for a festival later on this year. I think Rock on the Range, if I'm not mistaken. So it looks like they've kissed and made up. Uh, Baby Metal announced to support Red Hot Chili Peppers on a handful of shows starting April 12th and ending April 29th, so sadly we will not get a chance to see them here in Kansas City. June 2nd through the 4th, Governor's Ball in New York City. Tool, you heard that correctly, Tool is going to be making their first appearance in NYC in 11 years, and they're going to be headlining it. And Foo Fighters look like they're going to be headlining the Bottle Rocket Napa Valley Festival in May. Uh, there's also rumors that they'll be working on a new album this year as well. Close out your weekly rock wind up with new music announcements, merchandise, shit like that. Elfson Coffee Company, which is a, a, a coffee brand of Megadeth bassist David Elfson, going to open up its very first brick and mortar shop next week. Elf, Elfson Coffee Company in Jackson, Minnesota. Um, John Five, currently a guitarist for Rob Zombie, he used to be part of Marilyn Manson, going to drop a new album, Season of the Witch, on March 3rd. Uh, according to an Instagram post from Jason Hook, guitarist of Five Finger Death Punch, they have completed the album, their new album, due out later on this year. Suicide Silence going to release their new self-titled album on February 24th via Nuclear Blast Entertainment and KXM. I've told you guys about this band before. We've got Ray Luzier from Corn on Drums, Doug Pinnock, from King's X uh, and uh, guitarist George Lynch, oh, George Lynch as well, uh, gonna drop their sophomore album Scatterbrain on March 17th. I'm Nevin Sankermich. Thank you very much for tuning in to your weekly rock windup. I'm still sick. Cut me some slack. Have a great weekend. <laughs>